Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, RV Rebel Girl, with my sidekick, Diva Danny. I went shopping and I stopped at Harbor Freight, and I got this magnet uh, wheel thing so I can pick up any loose nails so I don't get flat tires. And I decided that since I moved the camper, I'm going to need to cut down some trees. Okay. I bought this little saw here on Amazon. It's an RLSOO six inch saw with the, I have two batteries that go with it. Perfect size, it's got a guard there. And you know, I charge the batteries and then in order to use it, you have to push this in and turn it at the same time. So you really have to concentrate. And I'm gonna trim my tree here because I moved the camper and I want to be able to open the the hatchback in order to, you know, use it. So I got my stool and I'm going to do that. It's really easy. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. All that I know is we'll get older. So that us stands this side of way. Show you how to do it. Done. Easy. And I'm going to get all the other branches off and out of my way. Gotta make sure there's no ticks on me. But, check my arm. Yep, sorry. I got that big one down. I'm taking it down so I can get my, put my uh, canopy out. In the distance, you can see fireworks, and it's July 3rd. You can hear them. The skyline, again, way out there, there's fireworks. And around the corner but the trees are in the way you can hear the train but you can also see the fireworks here we go right over here Ooh, skeeters are biting. But mosquitoes biting pretty bad despite all the fireworks in the sky. And I know there's some good ones on the other side of these trees, but the trees are blocking my view. But way out yonder, there they are. I got a great seat. I have got like four firework shows around me. My poor Danny girl, she's terrified. So I will go back into the house. Oh, that looks like the grand finale. Yep, looks like the grand finale. Wow, the 
rumble from that finale over there is unbelievable. You really can't feel it or hear it as I can from here. Except I'm shaking because I'm getting all bug bit. So with that I'm going in because my poor little girl is shaking in her boots. Here's my fireworks. <laughs> There's some right over here, but they're not going up high enough for us to see them. I could see them from the top of my... Oh, there they are. There's coming over this... They can get them... Oh, there we go. They're coming up, but not high enough. There, I see them in the background. If I stood in the middle of that field, I would see like four different fireworks shows. We're going in. Well, I bought this uh, oops mattress topper four incher, and I thought it was a regular queen, but it's a short queen. And I got like two feet. It's as short as my mattress, but my mattress is designed to go all the way to the end, and you're supposed to put like pillows up over there at the topper. You might even be able to put like a plastic. Uh, storage bins up there, you know, like with drawers or something. I wouldn't, but anyway, I don't know. I may have to. So, the bottom line is, is it's really short at this end. It's going to look ridiculous because that's the couch. And it's just going to look ridiculous. Unless I go ahead and put something at the end and have it come all the way to the end, to the end here like I did before. I hate stuff in pillows in that back end, but I just might have to. So, it feels real soft and spongy. My back has been killing me because I can feel the separation from the wood platform and the cushion for the couch so I'm hoping that I put something underneath it doesn't mean it won't move but I did put something underneath where the seam is and I may have to end up velcroing it so it doesn't move but um, I like this thing has the uh, the straps that attach it to the bottom and it has a cover on it, and it's four inches. It's one piece of the one piece of the foam, and it's four inches. So you have to leave it like settle for like I forget how long for because it's like it's all scrunched up from you know being in the box and squeezed. So I can't sleep on it tonight. I guess I'm gonna have to sleep over there. <sighs> Look at that! I got the other one. My other topper over there it's a mess i was hoping to sleep here but you never know i'm a late owl so it might open up like i needed to but i got it on sale it was over 200 bucks but i only paid 87 dollars for it we'll see how it goes i got my bed put together with my new topper on it yeah, I got it at Walmart on sale. It was like over 200 bucks. I got it for 74 for queen size. And it is a short queen, as you can see. So it fits the RV short queen very well. And it's four inches thick. And then I have the original four inch mattress that is like a box spring because it's hard as a rock. And then my topper I had on there from before at my other RV. And it, oh my God, it looks like it's gonna be really, really soft. It's a nice soft bed. It's not a hard um, mattress and it's four inches. So it's supposed to be cooling, but you know what? With all these blankets on it, I doubt that I can know if it's cooling because I have another topper on top of that. So 
I'm, I can't wait to sleep in it. I hope it makes my back feel better. I do like a soft bed. But I had that seam that went here between the hard platform. It's like between this hard thing here and the the couch or the you know the seat the the jackknife and it was like in my back I could feel that trim through the two mattresses so now I have two pillows underneath there like over the where the uh, where that meets the cushion from the jackknife and it should be better I hope so well, I'm looking all over for Danny, for my dog, and I'm calling her and calling her, and I couldn't find her. Do you see her? I see her now. Yep, there she is, hiding behind the pillow. She does not want to get up out of bed today. I slept so good last night. This bed is so comfortable. I'm very happy with it. It is not supposed to rain, so I figured I would just wash the den the den and um because i can't take it through the car wash because i have solar panels on the top and so i turned off the water i'm gonna unhook the hose to the camper and i'm gonna wash the van and then i might even conquer washing the front half halfway back um on the you know on shooting star 3.0. We'll see. Danny's inside. All of a sudden, you know, you bring out the ladder. I had to bring it down from the second floor in the building. And um, you bring out the ladder and then all of a sudden you think, ah, here comes the clouds. You know, I thought, okay, this is a way to get a suntan while you wash the car. You know, wash the, the truck. But Oh, here comes the sun. It's peeking out. It's pinking out. Oh, you know what? Let me know what, how your 4th of July was. Because I had a great 4th of July. I hope you did too. And um, celebrating Independence Day. Yep. And I started to spray paint my stool. But then the spray paint wouldn't work. because So I guess it was not meant to be to, for me to spray paint it today. The can, which was an older can that I had um, before I started doing my birds. I should have took one of the new cans from the where I do the birds, but that didn't work. So I'm going to have to go back to the storage shed and get another spray can of spray paint. I need to do that anyway before I head to Arizona because I think we're going to stop the Cadillac Branch. Really cool. Very nice and breezy. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. Today. Oh, let's see if I can get this. Up. Okay, so I have one side done. I'm going to start working on the other side now. You know, when you're pushing 70, it takes a little bit longer to get the stuff done. Climbing up and down that ladder. <laughs> but I can't take it to a car wash, so. And I save money by doing it myself, actually. One more side. I'm almost done. And you know what happens when you wash your car? It rains. So I'm trying to get some stuff put away out of the rain before it comes so I can rinse my front of my car off and uh, get in the house. I gotta put the ladder away though. So I gotta go bring this ladder up into the stairway.
Well, the car's the, the car. The van is clean. Oh, and my and I had to check to make sure my dear my dear bells were still there, so that when I'm going down the street, the beer no, the deer no the deer whistles keep those deers. Yeah, it's kind of might rain for a little bit, but uh, I am gonna run down and go get the. Uh, Turn on the water, because I had to turn off the water in order to put the faucet back on, put the water back onto the RV. So, I'll be back. You get to see my best asset. Sing a song, sing it loud, sing it strong. 